So for this episode though, we do have a little bit of excitement to start things off. Because after selling the cards from the packs at the end of the last episode that put us up over 40k, we're at 42,302 stubs in the bank. So I already already bought it, but we have another one of those bundles to open up here right at the start of this episode. So we spend 40k from the bank. That bank is now down to 2,302 stubs, so we got a long way to go for the next one. Now let's get ready to open these, man. We get a 42 player pack, which I didn't even know was available for this. Maybe I did and I just assumed it wasn't. I don't know. But then an all-star game pack and a finest pack. So again, we kind of get unlucky with this first one because i don't really know i mean we already have rivera which is really the only guy who had a chance of making the team i don't think anybody else i yeah i don't i don't really think anybody else is going to provide a use for us even even on the bench or anywhere so yeah i yeah i none of these guys so i'm just gonna pick babe doesn't matter it won't be on the team now on to the big ones and i'm actually glad that between the home run derby and all-star pack we got the all-star one because as of right now we have one player from each tier on our team so no matter which tier we end up with we're going to be adding a pitcher the only question is if it's the middle or high tier and i get peralta or lance lynn the only question is who i'm going to be getting rid of because man i still don't want to get rid of rick porcello so let's open it. Who do we got? It's the base round, so we don't have to worry. Liam Hendricks is going to be the pick. I think we still have the live series Hendricks in our bullpen, so he'll just replace the live series. And honestly, this Liam Hendricks on my other account is maybe my most used reliever in online play and he's like surprisingly good. So th this is actually a pretty good pickup here. And then the final pack we got a finest set one so we don't have another chance at that garrett whitlock which if it was that one it would just mean we'd get the big round again so it's set one the base round we already have loop adamas and cease fran mill i mean i'm sure we could put him on the bench but he doesn't have a huge use for us so the the guy i would probably take even though i don't think this card is very good would be Paul Seawald. If we get the big round, I still haven't decided yet, but it'll probably be either Bo or Garcia. And one way or another, it would lead to Paul Konerko getting replaced. So let's get it open here. What do we got? It is the base round. So yeah, I mean, obviously Fran Mill's a good hitter. Well, now I'm rethinking it because I could just do what I would have done if I got Avi, which was gonna be move austin riley to third move vlad to first and then take paulie out of the lineup i still could do that with fran mill you know what i'm not i'm not gonna do that because i mean this fran mill actually has it'd be a silver badge on defense which isn't that bad but it's also not that good <laughs> and riley in right is probably a better fielder with his ratings and speed and i just don't want to have soto in left and then fran mill in right and really be sacrificing the fielding so I, i'm just gonna stick with the original plan we'll take paul seawald for some more bullpen depth so i guess uh i don't know man maybe those packs weren't as exciting as i'd hoped we don't still have the uh the hendrix though i forgot about that we replaced him with tom hankey which now we'll just be replacing tom hankey with liam Hendricks, and then i'm taking out darren o'day instead of rivera because o'day in his couple outings for us was not that great i mean he's only pitched two innings given up three runs but i don't know overall i feel like people didn't have as much trouble hitting o'day this year just in general so he'll get the boot we'll put paul seawald in and i mean right there in terms of uh overall ratings that is a huge boost to our bullpen i mean before this Johnny Lasagna was really the only righty I felt super comfortable using. Batances was sometimes hit or miss. But now we added two more big righty arms. So that, that does make me feel a lot better about our pen. All right, and I guess it's time to get into the game then. It looks like our best option is Mad Bum. He's at full energy. Palmer is too, but Mad Bum's a 99 right now. So I'm going to go with him. And like I've already said, we're sitting at a 761 rating. And I'll be honest, all I hope for out of this game is just to not freeze again no freezing and no degrom that's the rules otani i can live with that are we playing at angel stadium too he's got a lot of games played but not a super impressive record and i don't know i feel like i always think i hit otani well but i feel like i also didn't the last time i faced him and it's been a while 
Maybe we're good. That wasn't even the best swing. Ah, that was a good one. Yeah, I do remember that pitch giving me trouble now. You know what? I'm going to do it first pitch of this at bat. We got 99 stealing on first. Otani's got a bit longer of a delivery. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I think we're in there because he didn't throw it right away. I don't know if we would have been safe without that. Dang, and that slider ended up in the zone. Yeah, that is a pitch I'm going to have trouble with. Ah, yeah, wow, okay, never mind, guys, hang on. I, Because I, I, I feel like I can't sit off speed or on the heat, because the other one's just going to fool me so bad. Oh, and the time of day affects that pitch. Okay, now we're connecting the dots here. All right, we draw the walk. I'm able to hold up on that swing. Yeah, I don't know how I didn't realize, though, but the time of day is causing a little bit of issue. Yeah, that's got to be a pitch I hit, but the, the the little area that it catches the clouds in the back is just disrupting it. I feel like this guy knows what he's doing, right? Because this is obviously like he picked the cloudy weather, because otherwise it'd be clear skies, right? Soto? No! Oh! Oh my god, another good swing! Come on, keep it fair, Juan! Dude, you... That is so... Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try not to get frustrated by it, because it's just gonna be annoying if I keep bringing it up, but I couldn't see that pitch. <laughs> like, that that's a hanging curve that I probably hit, but I just I couldn't see it. That's a good sign. If we want to point out the positives, I ran up his pitch count, so at least, other than the pitches that end up in the clouds, I'm seeing him well. And if he's just going to keep chasing these, it might only take a run or two. That's a swing. Alright, there we go. They gave him the swing on that one. All good. We got another one in the dirt. Why does it feel like so many games on this pack attack account are against players who just have no discipline? Like, we're, we're on a high-ish rating these days. I feel like if I'm playing on my main account on this rating, I'm always sweating in these kind of games. But on this account, I mean, we're, we just seem to play so many people who can't put it together at the plate. And we got another one. He worked it to two balls, though, that time, so... Oh, come on! Ah, I missed that one. Rolled over it. That was a good pitch. Come on. Here we go, Polly. Nice little piece of hitting there. We got a perfect, and it's a double play. You just, you love to see that, don't you? Alright, he's taking pitches now. I don't want this to become tough all of a sudden. Come on. Oh, and I missed the spot. Great, the guy who swings at everything just drew a walk. Gotta make the block here, JT. Oh, never mind. Okay. Really, he's taking that even now too? Is he just taking by default since I was throwing so much out of the zone? Maybe. That should be two. I would, I'll take that over a strikeout, I'll be honest. Let's, uh, let's have some perfect swings this inning that don't stay on the ground, maybe. Oh, dude, Mad Bum's going to get one one day. I just missed that one. Dude, come on. I w this is way too early for me to be as frustrated feeling as I am. We got plenty of time. He's not doing anything. We just got to make a couple good swings at some point. Missed that one. Oh, man, I feel like I'm right there on so many different pitches. I'm just not putting it all together at once. Really, he's not even swinging at that. This is this is an insane difference between now and what the first inning was. There we go. That still stayed on the edge. Good. All right, we got him again. All right, we got him again. I I know we still can't do anything at the plate, but I'm starting to get a little worried purely because of his discipline. All of a sudden, there we go. Now now the sky is dark. Now we score runs. Y yeah. Missed that one too? I did, I did. But sometimes those get hit harder.
I can't complain about it though, I definitely did miss. Oh my god, come on! What? I can finally see any pitch he's gonna throw and I make the worst swings I've made all day. There we go. You j I mean, I knew he wasn't swinging at that, I just couldn't hit the spot a couple times. I wonder if I can just keep throwing outside heat and if he's just gonna keep laying off. <laughs> I mean... Hey, there it is. There we go. You're not going to follow that one off. Another one, dude. We are t At least we're racking up the strikeout stubs, I'll tell you that. It's that's got to be like 9 or 10 through 4. All right, man, though. Come on. Focus up. It's time to score. It's the 5th already. Ah, eh. I overestimated the break of the splitter. Pauly, is that? Oh, good. Oh, and it got way past him. Is that going to be the only way Paul Konerko hits a triple? Are we looking at a Pauly triple? No, JT, buddy. <laughs> That's like one of the things you couldn't do. No, dude, I really just threw away that inning because I wasn't ready for the up and in fastball. Unbelievable. If I keep throwing away chances, he is going to hit one. He is gonna square one up at some point. You know it's coming. It's just a matter of when. There we go. Another backdoor cutter. This is a couple of scary guys in a row, though, to face with a lefty pitcher. Oh, he broke the strikeout streak. I think we were at seven in a row at that point. Is he about to take Harper out because he doesn't want to go lefty-lefty? He is. Wow, why didn't he do that his first at bat? All right, another grounder. We're through five, man. I don't even know what to say. We just got to score. I feel like I'm in my own head at this point. Like, I, I was seeing him so well in the first two innings. Making good swings and everything. Dude, I, it's a hanger. Hit it, me. Come on. What are we doing grounding that one to third weekly? He's trying to give me the lead. Take it. Did Willie take it? Oh, that is. It's leaving. He curved it around the pole. Willie Adamas. Who else? He has really become the clutch guy we rely on in this team. Finally. Oh my god, I can breathe now. Alright, though, I'll be honest, now that we are pitching the lead, all that does is increase the chance that he happens to hit one out. It's gonna happen. I promise. And it'll probably be on a bad swing, too. He'll be, like, out in front of it, miss it with the PCI. I can already see it. Alright, you know, this is... This is what makes me think something bad's gonna happen, because now he's going he's gone from striking out to putting the ball in play consistently. That's three straight ground balls. Oh come on, you don't take that. Who do you think you are? What? Uh oh. I mean that sucks. Cause we had a no hitter going. I was not expecting him to be on that, which that also worries me. Oh, Polly. Oh, no. No. He is not scoring on this. Okay. What? Where did this come from? He literally could not hit. And that, that is such a good swing. He's stealing. Oh, we're not going to. Man, of course it's a pitch I threw in the dirt. That's fine, though. It was a strike. Big play. Big play. Make it. There we go. We're good. Oh my god. That was... I need to score like seven this inning. I don't know where that came from on offense from him, but my god, am I scared now. Oh. And just like that, he's done with uh, Otani. And he's bringing in his lefty to face my only lefty. So that's fine with me. Dang. Oh, and that would have been ball four. I thought it was in the zone. Good start. What am I doing? Why did I take those two? Please tell me that that's not getting down. 
Oh man, we've definitely made some good swings this game that haven't gone anywhere. I wasn't even thinking about him until now, but now that he's threatening, you can't help but think about it. Polly? That's doing something. It's leaving! Dude! I thought about replacing Polly before this game. And now he's three for three. Nobody else can hit and Polly's up here going three for three today. I'm gonna try and give Mad Bum one more inning since his spot didn't come up here. But if he gets into trouble, I'm taking him out. I don't understand, dude. Where did this come from? Why is he all of a sudden making like nothing but good swings? Oh yeah, see this is the scary part. Now that he's swinging good, facing Chipper and then, and then Frank. No, I don't like this. I don't like this. All right, I'm gonna take a risk here, but please help me out on this guy. Please get fooled. Oh, he got fooled. What kind of a swing was that? Wait, you're not fouling that off. I'm sorry, it's just not happening. Give me a break, dude. That's a perfect late in the dirt. They gave him the foul ball, unbelievable. They're like, that wasn't even a mistake pitch. Like, how does this guy go from striking out seven times in a row to, to working the walk that he did and then hitting that pitch out? It hurt my hand too, man. Come on. Why, why do I got to do that? Why do I got to hit things? All right. I don't know. Maybe it's just as simple as he saw Mad Bum enough because now we got a new pitcher and he's having trouble again. Yeah, here we go. I'm going Shohei, man. Won it bad. He hit a, a double off the wall. So maybe he's just the man. Was there butterflies in the dugout? Please tell me that's going to carry. No, dude. That, that is way too good of a swing. Marte, of course. That one's not going to get through. And there we go. Another one. I mean, I could have made a better swing. I should have made a better swing. This is bad. This is really, really bad. I'm really going to hope that Loop gives this guy all kinds of trouble. And I, I mean, I would assume he would based on how this guy has hit up to this point. That's just not a good spot for that pitch. There we go. That's what I like to see. Really? He's not swinging at that one? That's tough. Wow! How do you take that? This is the same guy that was swinging at like 10 pitches in the dirt in a row and you take that! Dude, Loop, buddy, you are scaring the crap out of me. Why is this guy seeing Loop? Nobody sees Loop. Even good players don't see Loop. Nah, we're good. This isn't real, dude. That is a strike. Give me that call. How many times are you going to take that away from me? Oh. <laughs> All right, he's not hitting this if it ends up in the zone. And it doesn't, even though it's a perfect, and I put the entire shaded region in the zone. Of course it ends up out of the zone, because where else is it going to go, right? All right, that is getting caught, but he's probably going to get to third. Oh, he's not. He's not going for it. Okay, that's good. Oh, we got the call there. When it mattered, we got the call. Please score this inning, because I'm running out of time. You got to be kidding. Make a swing. Huh? Huh? Hmm. That's getting down, right? All right, there we go. That's a bad swing. We needed it. Oh, no! Stop it! No! <laughs> That's such a good swing. I'm so into this right now. Oh, my God. I just screamed no at the top of my lungs. My neighbors probably heard that and are thinking there's someone trapped in the basement. Oh, hang on, hang on. I got to think about this. Because he's got Chipper and Frank coming up, and I don't know if I want a lefty in for that. And Hank Aaron. If Loop had a pretty easy inning in the last one, I'd be all for leaving him in because he's Loop. 
but that last inning was not easy. I'm gonna go Hendricks. Liam, buddy, do not let me down. Dude, you let me down on the first pitch, man. You're lucky. Oh, beautiful curve. Was he late on that? I think, yeah, he was late. Otherwise, he would have had a cheesy foul ball. No, you gotta be kidding. No. Not like that. I thought that was so far inside. This guy, this guy just beat me. That just sunk in. This guy, who was being no hit, was it through six innings or into the sixth? He struck out like 15 times in the first five innings, it felt like. Just hit a walk-off home run to beat me. I was so confident, dude. I was unbelievably confident. That uh, that really hurts. That doesn't help things at all. And, and that's a huge hit to the rating also, man. Minus 38 because he was at 664. Oh, and then on top of that, it was our brand new guy that gave it up at the end. That's, that's not what you want to see. I don't know. Maybe for whatever reason, me losing that game was just karma. It was just payback for winning that nine-hour freeze-off. Maybe for whatever reason, the universe didn't think i deserve that win and now it's it's course corrected itself and we're back on track but anyway our stubs for today we've got two runs which is good for a thousand 14 total bases is good for 3500 i drew a walk so that's another 250 we also got to five hits which is another 500 but I struck out five times, which is just minus 500. When it comes to pitching, our three runs allowed is good for 1,500. Our four hits allowed is good for 2,000. I don't know why I never thought of this until now, and I'm probably not going to implement it this year just because it's already so late. But why did I not count walks <laughs> against myself? Like, why didn't I jumble that together with hits? Because I walked him four times too, which should never happen. And if that counted, that'd be minus another thousand stubs from what we would have had. But based on our rules right now, we still get 2,000 for four hits allowed. Uh, but then I still, I struck him out 15 times, which was nice early in the game. Wish I could have kept that up. So that's 3,750. And then the only other thing rub it in a little bit more last episode only has one like and i feel lucky to even have that because for the longest time i saw it had none and i was i was thinking man it's gonna be embarrassing sitting here saying oh last video had no likes on it so we don't get to add that <laughs> i don't know if that's happened yet i think every pack attack video has at least had one and it's not just me liking it myself so thanks whoever the one person was who left the like on the last one so we could at least salvage some level of dignity after this loss. Anyway, that's another 250. So that brings our total to 12,250. So I'm just, I bought two show packs and a headliner bundle that cost 12,000. We get to send the extra 250 from that one like to the stub bank. And it looks like we didn't even get any great headliners here. Cause yeah, even Austin Martin, that's not, that's not going to make the team at this point. So let's get into it. The two show packs. That's great. That's what we like to see. And the last of the two. Perfect. Gotta love all those free agents. Set four, we got Oral Hershizer. That would have been fun back in May. We got a diamond jersey though, so that sells for a thousand probably. Set nine, we got Eddie Matthews. That also would have been fun back in May or June or whenever it was. At least we don't get free agents in this one. Last one, Austin Martin. We already looked at that. What do we got? Can we salvage anything? Nope, just more silvers and a gold jersey. Great, we love it. I really don't know if I've ever been this bitter after a loss on a video. I've definitely been bitter after losing, but for a video, this might be a record. But anyway, that does it for this one, guys. Make sure you leave a like on it so I don't rant about only having one like next time. Well, let's get at least two, man. Let's get someone extra giving us another 250 stubs. I don't know. Probably not even gonna crack two views on this one because this episode stunk. Uh, but if you manage to enjoy it, it's awesome. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time.